Hi everyone! Today I will be reviewing my Birkenstock Boston clogs with the shirling lining. These clogs have been popular for a while now and the original hipsters would probably argue that they've been wearing them since before they were really really trendy and popular. Some would even say that they were ugly in the past but they're super trendy now. It's crazy how times change and trends change as well. Just a little background, I've owned many variants of the Birkenstock sandals and I know that their quality is amazing and comfortable and very very good for your posture. So I wanted to buy these Birkenstock Boston's for a really long time now. It's been about one to two years that I wanted to buy them and I wanted to use them to wear around inside my home but I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend that high price tag because these are quite pricey. They are $170 as of right now and I wasn't sure that that high price point was worth just using as like a house slipper. And I had these Boston clogs on my Nordstrom wish list for those one to two years and every time that they came back in stock they would sell out almost immediately especially in this color and so I was wondering there might be something to these sandals that you know I'm missing out on. One of the main deciding factors for me finally taking the plunge and deciding to order these sandals was that my back and my feet were hurting like crazy from carrying around my 25 pound baby. He's 15 months old now but he's been 25 pounds for a really long time. He was really chonky and then he slimmed down by like growing taller but he still maintained that minimum of 25 pounds and he loves to be carried. He always wants to be near us and wants to be carried. He wants to see what we're doing. So carrying a 25 pound baby for hours and hours every single day was really taking a toll on my back and my feet and my regular sandals that I were wearing were really not doing the job. Like the sandals would flatten out really fast over time and then that support on the feet would be gone. So I thought, okay, you know, Birkenstocks are very good for posture. They're very good on your feet. And I wear the sandals daily, like the outdoor sandals daily. So I thought, let me just try giving these a go. And they were so comfy. They worked out so well for me and my posture was immediately better and my feet stopped hurting that I decided to order another pair, one for wearing outside. Just a major pro on these clogs besides their comfort level and their quality is that these clogs are so cute. I get compliments on them everywhere I go when I go to visit a doctor or just some friends. They always get compliments on them which is always surprising to me because they do just look like regular clogs. You know they just look like slippers but when they're paired with like a cute and casual outfit they definitely give you that really cool cozy vibe and they definitely make you just look kind of like trendy I guess like really just that casual look that is so popular nowadays with that Gen Z generation and just that post COVID pandemic era of just wearing comfortable cozy clothing during your remote working hours. I think these really just bloomed in this time because of those factors. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the sizing because the first pair that I ordered and this one is the first pair that I ordered. These I ordered one size up from my normal Birkenstock sandal sizes because of the shearling material inside because this shearling material makes the inside feel a little thicker so I ordered one size up. I'm normally like I think I'm 35 but in these I ordered 36 and they were like perfect size. I mean I didn't have to wear any socks I could just slip them on and they were absolutely perfect they molded to my feet perfectly and then when I ordered my second pair the one for wearing outside these were slightly bigger and this was the same size 36 and they were like almost like a 37 or size bigger they were really loose inside maybe I want to say the shearling was not as thick on these newer ones than my first pair so I'm not sure if that was what happened but they definitely felt like two completely different sizes even though they were both in the size 36 so I highly recommend you ordering one or two or actually going and trying them on if they have them in your local store that would be the best bet to get your sizing because of the fact that the same sizing was kind of off another thing to note is that because this style this Boston clog has this suede outer lining it's so important that you apply some kind of waterproof spray or material to protect it. I did not do that with my first pair. And as a comparison, I don't know if you can tell which one is the one that I did not spray the waterproof lining on. And yes, it's this one. As you can see, it's really, really uh, scuffed up. There's watermarks everywhere. I spilled water, milk, just the whole shebang on this. And I was so sad that it got ruined, you know. And suede is really hard to clean even after the fact I tried, but I'll 
was like, you know what? They're kind of already ruined. That also was another reason why I decided to order an outside pair. Because if I'm wearing these inside my house, I don't really care too much that they look kind of ruined, I guess. But if I want to like wear them outside, I would prefer if they kind of had like a pretty clean look. So I highly, highly recommend that upon receiving these sandals, you apply some kind of waterproof spray to them so that they end up staying looking pristine like this and not like this. So the one that I did waterproof, which is this pair right here, I've worn this pair out in the rain. This year in California, it rained like crazy, which is very unprecedented. It might be due to like climate change, I don't know, but there were just days that it poured and so I wore these out and it's still looks pretty pretty clean. Some of these markings are just the movement of the suede, not really watermarks. And so the waterproofing spray that I use is this brand from Kiwi Select. I ordered it on Amazon and it's just like your generic shoe or suede spray. It worked really well. What I did was that when I received my brand new Boston's, I shoved some newspaper or just coupons inside the shearling part and I stuffed it in to protect the shearling. And then I just lightly sprayed across the shoe. And I did this like two or three more times, let it dry overnight and then I was good to go. That was it. And they still look brand new. And you'll notice that when you spray the Boston's immediately that it kind of starts turning a dark color but as it dries it the darkness disappears and it becomes this stone this beautiful stone gray again so I wouldn't worry too much if you see that darkness happening so overall I'm very happy with my purchase they like I said were $170 so they are not inexpensive they're kind of high up there but the quality and just what you get for what you pay for for these Birkenstocks definitely are worth that high price. They're not just your average house sandals like I had originally intended. They definitely help with your posture, you know, your feet. If you have feet pain or back pain, they will help in those areas. And they're comfortable to wear all day long. If you are actively walking around, taking morning walks, for instance, these are going to be your best bet and they're super good for your feet. So I believe that they are worth that $170. And if something were to happen to these, I'd be more than happy to order another pair. Granted, I don't think I would have to because as you guys know Birkenstocks have a very long lifespan. There are some Birkenstocks that I have that are almost 10 years old and they're still going strong besides just the general overall grodiness but they still work. They still have really good support for my feet and also my posture so highly recommend these shoes. They're worth every penny and let me know what you guys think. Do you think these are just too trendy? Do you still think these are quote-unquote ugly you know? Or do you own a pair yourself? If you guys have the version that doesn't have the shearling lining inside, what do you guys think about those? I'd love to know as I'm interested as well since the summer season is coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!